Section 3.4 and 3.5 Part B, in this set of videos, we'll be talking about parallel and perpendicular lines. Before we do that, let's review linear equations in general, though, and talk about a few important characteristics. So we've been talking about linear equations, and we've looked at the slope-intercept form of y equals mx plus b. Well, notice, in linear equations, we have a highest degree of 1. For example, y equals 2x plus 3 is a linear equation, because both y and x are raised to a power of 1. Some nonlinear equations could be y equals 6x squared minus 20. That's actually a quadratic equation. We could have y equals 9x cubed, which is a cubic equation or y equals negative 3x to the fourth minus 2x squared, which is a quartic equation. Now you don't need to know these other equations. What's most important is that you be able to recognize a linear equation, which does have a highest power of 1. We've already seen that linear equations appear as a straight line. And now, here's an important thing. Linear equations are representative of repeated addition. Let's look at an example. A water tank starts with three gallons of water. The tank is being filled and its volume increases by two gallons of water every minute. Well, we can see that we're looking at the relationship between time past in minutes and the volume of water in the tank in gallons. Well, we can even have a table. We know that when no time has passed, we start with three gallons. After one minute, we've added two gallons to get up to five gallons total. After another minute, we're up to seven. After another minute, we're up to nine. So every time our x increases by one minute, we see that we've added two more gallons. And this is where the idea of repeated addition comes from. We can then look at the graph. Which would be starting at the point There we go. 0, 3. Then we get 1, 5, 2, 7, 3, 9. And that's the graph we get. We can even look at the equation where y equals, and we know we're starting with 3 gallons, and we repeatedly add 2 gallons every minute. So y equals 2x plus 3. These are the three ways that we can look at this equation in table form, graph form, and equation form.